We are officially back to school, and thanks to Jenny Mullen and her new cookbook, your kids' lunches are about to get quite the shake-up. So today I'm meeting up with Jenny at Italy Flatiron to show me how to prep the perfect dictator lunch. Jenny, first of all, back to school time is my favorite time of year, and I yes. don't even go to school, and I don't have a child in school yet. But wait till you have a child in school, then you're really gonna love this time of year because you're bet. like, it's like Christmas. I'm free. <laughs> right. I'm free again. Okay, so for people who don't know about dictator lunches, mm -hmm. tell me about how it all began. So it started with me having a son that started preschool, and I needed to make a lunch for him, and I found myself after maybe a week of doing it, just utterly bored in my kitchen at night. I started playing around with what can I send this kid with that will actually be entertaining, compelling, maybe push the envelope a little bit. And I found that I could tell a story through food if I just sort of plotted it out. And I used sort of this paint by numbers theory where it's like I need a main, I need a fruit, I need a veg, I need a snack, and then I need a bribe. And I love that you call your children the dictators. How did that start? I do always like talk about my kids behind their back as like most good moms do, yes. you have to. They can control me. I do whatever they say. I mean, Sid tells me he's the main character of our family. Like, that's who I live with. Yes. <laughs> so yeah, they are truly dictators, and I had to just call it what it was. It's so hilarious. Okay, so we are here in Italy's yes. flat iron location, yes. and we're going to do a little bit of shopping, and then yes. you're going to show me how to make a dictator lunch. Yes, this is my favorite store. They have everything I love. The produce is the best in the city here, so I'm really excited to take you through a lunch. And since it is Italy, I'm going to do an Italian-themed dictator lunch for you. Do your kids reject anything in the lunches? Oh my god, they hate blueberries, but that's why we keep doing it. You have to repeat, you have to keep repeating. We're gonna make some heart-shaped pizzas. I love it. We're gonna do some veg, we're gonna do just, you know, some simple steamed broccoli, a berry salad. I'm gonna throw in a couple heirloom tomatoes just because, you know, tomatoes are a fruit. I have my dough here. It's already made for me. This is so simple. This, this is just as easy as making a PB&J at home. Grabbing some dough, putting some sauce on, Taking a little mutz, as Jason likes to call it, mutz. The he mutz. doesn't call it mozzarella because he's an Italian boy from Jersey. It's yeah. mutz. We're gonna put a little basil on. Put those guys in the oven. Okay. You guys hate blueberries? Okay. How about big blueberries and small blueberries? Magic of Hollywood. Our pizzas are ready. Okay. Wait, these are adorable. How cute is First that? All, and I, it's not your traditional pizza. It, it looks so no. cute. Right? And it's just like a fun little bite-sized pizza and it fits so nicely in the box. There you go. But then again, no dictator lunch is complete without the bribe. This is incredible, as expected. I'm so excited that this book is out here in the world. Oh Thank you for taking the time to teach me how to make one.